Hi, I'm Dustin Berg with ProAVSchool.com, and in this video, I'm going to teach you about Get Last Modified Array Index in SimplePlus. Now, if you already know about Get Last Modified Array Index, you can skip this video because I'm not going to teach you anything that you haven't already seen. This is intended for people that are just getting into SimplePlus, and I've created this video and also a course that I'll be talking about just a little bit at the end that is basically intended to help people that are getting started and don't have a lot of resources. Now I know there's help files and stuff like that, but if you don't really know what questions you're looking for and you don't have a lot of experience with line-based code, Simple Plus can actually be quite overwhelming. So I wanted to try to fill the gap and help people that are kind of getting, getting going with it. So with that, let's get to the actual topic. Looking in Simple, what I wanted to do is create a module that would look at a bunch of analog inputs, in this case 20 of them, and tell me when a change had happened on any of them, which one had changed last, and output basically a digital pulse that indicates this. Now there are ways to do this directly in Simple. You don't need Simple Plus to solve that problem, but it's a good example that's not too complicated that can show you how this function basically works and kind of help you understand it a little bit better. I should mention quickly that if these input values are changing at the same time and quickly, you're going to have a little bit of undesirable results from this module. It's going to end up skipping some of them and you'll, you'll basically just get unreliable data. So this is more for things that don't change a lot. And you could use the case of trying to figure out the last source that has changed for something like a DM switcher. So let's move over to the simple plus here. I stripped out all of the headers and all the, the commented out stuff in, in the basic template because I just wanted to show just what we're dealing with here. So I've got this define constant. This isn't really required. I just did it because that's kind of what I do when I'm doing multiple inputs and outputs. So I could have put like the number 20 here, for example. Uh, the benefit of doing it this way is if I change it later, and I want to do 30 instead of 20, it's one quick change. And then I would have to update and expand the symbol in simple. Change analog input is looking at the whole array of input values. And so whenever anything's changed to any of these, it's going to enter this, this change event. And what we're doing here is actually really simple. I've declared an integer, called it index. And then I said index equals get last modified array index. And note that this is case insensitive. You could have typed it out all in uppercase or lowercase. It doesn't really matter in simple plus. Um, and just the um, open and close bracket. And that returns the index of the last one that was selected. So we're printing it out to the trace with percent %d, which is the format specifier for an integer. And we're also pulsing value changed and then that index that we determined. So basically one of these is going to pulse based on which one of these changes. It doesn't matter what they change to. Um, we're just looking at this point at which one has changed. So I've already got that loaded in this program here. And I'm going to change. Let's expand this a bit. So if I make a change on 4, for example, and like I said, it doesn't matter what I change it to. I'll just put it 4 so that we don't get confused. And here we see change on input 04 dot pulse. Let's change one on eight. Again, I'm going to do it eight. And they'll say the last one is eight. If I reassert this change here on four, we'll get that pulse again. And same with here. And like I said, they can be they can be any value. It doesn't matter. It's basically just the change. So overall, this was just a quick little example. I just wanted to go through how this, this function worked. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. And what I want to do just quickly is talk about the TLDR Plus training course. I'm doing a pilot run of this course coming up actually next Friday, uh, January 14th. And I'm running six weekly live Zoom calls where I'm going to teach basically beginner simple plus programmers um, basically things that will help them get comfortable with line-based code if they had no experience 
my background is not computer science, but I've spent a lot of time messing around with different types of procedural code. And I'm not even talking object oriented. I'm talking things like basic back in probably back in the 80s. Um, C, C plus um, stuff that that's not really the advanced stuff. So I know that when you go through the, the training courses, there's a lot of things that that assume you have a bit of prior knowledge and without learning a language like that, you're kind of at a loss. Now you could always go and go to udemy.com and probably find a C course that would give you a ton of good stuff. And that's not a bad way to go, but you'll also um, probably miss some of the, um, the simple plus things like dealing with events and things that you actually need and learn a bunch of things that you're probably never gonna use. So if you want to get more comfortable with Simple Plus, I think this course is a good opportunity for you. And I've got the introductory pilot kind of live version, really cheap. It's $99. You can sign up. I'll link to this page here below the video. And I'm hoping to get a bunch of people in just so we can work on teaching it, or I can work on developing the content in a way that's really going to help you understand it and comprehend it. And if you're watching this video after the 14th of January, I'm probably going to keep this video up, but the pricing of this is going to change. Eventually, it's going to go into a pre-recorded course with all of the things that I'm learning from teaching it in the most effective way. So it'll be a really comprehensive course, and it'll be a little bit more expensive. So anyway, thanks for checking out this video, and we'll see you next time.